You were great with Sunny. You really made him listen. No, we both did. Maybe. At least we knew he was going to be okay. Well, he was okay until Alan made that crack about Lily. He still worries about you, Jason. Well, you know, I don't care. I want him off my case and off of Sonny's. Getting mixed up with them is always trouble. Those people are out for blood. I mean, especially their own. Man, I swore I would steer clear of that house. Well, you had a good reason to go back this time. <sighs> yeah, I know. I know. But it's still weird to watch him in action. I mean, like the old guy. If I didn't know better, I would swear he'd been in the same kind of accident as me. That guy has no feelings at all. How can you think that you don't have feelings? That doesn't fit with the Jason I know. All I have to do is say that word feelings and you get all antsy. Yeah, well, after seeing them all go after each other's throats, I don't get the point of feelings. They don't make anyone feel good. Sometimes I do. It, not in that crowd. I mean, they all give lip service on how much they care about each other, but all I see is a bunch of jerks who don't care about anything but themselves. That's not totally true. You really ever think they mean what they say? I know they do. <sighs> That's too hard for me to figure out. I just wish to hell I hadn't seen him again. Alan. I know you think what Alan told Sonny was wrong. I mean, I do too. But Alan was always great to Stone, and he's always been kind to me. Okay, so he's not a total jerk. Except with me and Sonny. When you're afraid for someone you love, it can make you act badly. Like Mac. He used to say all kinds of bad things about Stone. He didn't want him seeing me. But he got over it eventually. I wish Alan would get over it. Yeah, and until that happens, you're going to be in his face because you care about Sonny, and he's going to be in Sonny's face because he cares about you. You get it? Got it. <sighs> After Stone died, I went numb. I didn't want to feel anything either. It was like, no vacancies here, no feelings welcome. What changed? One day I was walking by this park. There's a bunch of little kids playing. And I heard one of the little kids call the other one butt nose. <laughs> and I just started laughing and laughing, and I couldn't stop. And it wasn't that funny. But something gave way inside of me. I felt joy again. I just allowed myself to feel a hundred thousand ways that I hadn't let myself feel before. And I started to appreciate it all. Even the sad parts. Jason. You can deny it all you want. I see the same things happening to you. about tonight at the board meeting because you were angry that's a strong emotion angry is easy for me but you feel affection too for Sonny for me for Ned most of the time those are all steps you know but I won't be cured until I laugh <laughs> saying cured makes it sound like you're sick I don't think of you that way Okay, still not laughing. Okay, 
How many psychiatrists does it take to screw in a light bulb? What? Three. One to screw it in, and two to talk about his subconscious motivations for doing it. No, huh? Okay, uh... Okay, I got another one. How many kangaroos does it take to screw in a light bulb? <laughs> You're out of your mind. <sighs> All right, I'm not funny. But one day you are gonna laugh. You're gonna laugh from a place deep inside you. Just because you can. And I want to be there for it. Maybe I'll hold off on it just to keep you around. Nah, that's not something you do. You know me better than I do. Come on. It's getting late. I'll take you home. But what, why would a kangaroo want to screw in a light bulb? Oh, my God. Come on. Hey. There you are. I'm sorry to make you wait. The lawyer took longer than I thought. What lawyer? Uh, Sonny's. We did the transfer of funds this morning. You know the ELQ stock? Mm. I'm a millionaire. Really? Three times over. Uh, Sonny and the lawyer set up four separate accounts for me. One is in Switzerland. The sec... Hey, you want to take a trip and visit my money? Not right now, thanks. What are you going to do with $3 million? Uh, the same thing I was going to do with $60 million. Wait, 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 back up. Sixty. Million. Yeah. That's what the stock was really worth. And you sold it to Sonny for three? Well, I wanted to give it to him. But the lawyer said he had to pay me something or the quarter mains could have the whole transaction voided for non-compensation. What? Basically, they could prove he cheated me. Well, if he paid you three for something that's worth 60, he did cheat you. I mean, at least the quarter mains would think that. Yeah, but who cares as long as they can't prove it? I mean, the lawyers say once the money changed hands, the whole thing's legal. How does Sonny feel about that? I mean, I know he didn't cheat you, but what about everybody else? Screw everyone else. Sonny needed the stock to make him look legitimate. And he has to have more than four million in the bank to hide behind. Four million? That's all the legitimate capital Sonny has. Or had. He paid me three, and then he has a million left over for himself. Why didn't he just give it all to you? Because I didn't want it. So we decided a nickel on the dollar was reasonable, and this way he can keep some of his clean money liquid. What? You? Going on about capital and liquidity. Sounded like a quarter me. Look, I'm sorry. I didn't mean anything well, you just by called it. me a quarter man, and if you were there last night, you wouldn't be laughing. I know. What Alan said no, was terrible. No, it wasn't just Alan. It was all of them, even Ned. They treated Sonny like dirt, like he wasn't even fit to breathe their air. They. Oh. I'm not saying I hate them or anything. I don't even think about them. Why should I? There were some people I lived with for a month or so, and then I left. It was no big deal. It was to them. Yeah, because they missed their son. Well, just because they're sad about him is no excuse they can try to control me. Or mess with Sonny's head. You know how he gets about Lily. Not really. He hides it from me. Remember last night he told you to take me home so I wouldn't see him like that? He puts it all on you. No. On himself. Although I, I think he's getting better because most of the time he's fine. I don't know, it's just the way he thinks. I have to learn to do that. To plan ahead, you know, figure all the angles to see what people are really after. He's been teaching me, you know? But sometimes it's like... He starts thinking about Lily, and then he just goes someplace in his mind, and he can't deal with anything or figure anything out, and it's up to me. Is that how that stock thing came about? Yeah, it was my idea, because the accountant said he was in trouble and he wasn't doing anything about it. Robin, 
Sonny didn't want the stock. And he said he's going to pay me back the full 60 million for it if it takes him the rest of his life. Like I care. Don't you? No. I'm the one who owes him. If it wasn't for Sonny, I wouldn't have a life. It still bothers you, does it? A little. Most of the time, I'm grateful. Because I love you both. And you guys have each other to count on. I made Sonny promise me that he would never let you get in so far that you couldn't get out. It's already too late for that, isn't it? It's not Sonny's fault. It's mine. This is where I belong. This is where I want to be. Can you handle that? I have to. Because you won't give it up. And because I can't give you up. Although, I want you to promise me if the cops ever do come around, you'll go take a little visit in Switzerland. Only if you come with me. Deal? Deal.